this one's gonna be on snippy it's a snippet script that you can actually paste in um, common stuff that you would you know use a lot and you don't want to type it out over and over again so I'll give you an example if let's say you're working with a text editor or any GUI program and you want to paste in let's say oh I want to paste in my github page okay so I already know it's in my snippet and I just launch in uh, my D menu and then basically I search for github if there's a lot or whatever and then push enter and it pastes it in right and so on and so forth so let's do it again let's say we wanted to uh, type in um, I don't know this March here what would I put in here and I'll say cool month or whatever it is you want to say whatever um, so that's the program and so let me see what do you do here so if you want to use uh, well there's two versions to this right there's this um, uh, this one line here and this other one called snippy the one line is just for one short line and this other one is for like a block of lines like you know you have like a whole paragraph or something like that you can do that in there too and the way that you will set up this one line here and the reason why I like this one line is just that you only need one file okay this one you need multiple files so that's why I like the one line but all you gotta do is go into uh, your home folder and you need to make a file called snippy if I spell it right snippy rc and in here you just you know type in your tags and um, whatever you want to type so let's say let's do this again and the tags are in brackets so you do uh, you type in I don't know we'll call this YouTube but well, we already had that so never mind we'll call this um, oops today uh, oops sorry Sunday how about that and we'll say uh, today is Sunday right some shit like that and then you save it and all I gotta do now is um, let me see here if you want to run your D menu you just type in uh, or press your hotkey and now you type in Sunday if I capitalize it there you go and it'll paste in today Sunday whatever that's that uh, we typed in right so that's the convenience of using the one uh, line script here it's just that you have all your snippets in one uh, file um, so that's it for that let's close it out now this other one uh, snippy this one's for multiple files so what you have to do is go into your home folder okay so we're at our home folder here and you want to make a folder um, called snippy so if you just go into our snippy folder here I did it. oh no dot snippy I mean go into that folder and in here this is basically where you paste in all your um, your block of text okay so I already have one here but let's say we create another one okay so let's say we'll type out man um, what do you want to do man ls or something and we'll just copy let's say a block of lines here all right we'll copy this sucker and in here we'll just type in um, vim and We'll just call this list command or something. Uh, don't you don't have to put it in txt or anything like that because uh, it looks stupid. But basically, let's say we paste in that sucker, right? And we save it now. Now it's gonna have two of these. So these are actually your tags instead of like you know the file names. The file names is the tag. So this is a uh, one tag, two tag, and if you want to run it now. Uh, let's paste this thing here. So if I hit my D menu hotkey, um, it will actually come up with those two here. So the first one is ffmpeg, and the second one we just created is called list command. And then basically you enter it, and it paste in a block of code, right? With um, what was that new line and everything? It will work. Um, and let's do that again for the other one that I did. Oops, let me see here. For ffmpeg that I did earlier. And there you go, it pastes that sucker. So like I said, one is for one line and the other one is for multiple lines. Um, after you get that all set up, all you gotta do the last thing is, you know, create a hotkey for it. So it should be, depending on what system you use, they all should have a, uh, you know, way to make hotkeys for this. And all you gotta do is point to the script. So you go to your keyboards here and your applications and um, let me make this bigger here. 
right? And basically, you create a new one, and then you assign it to a hotkey that you want to use. So I got both of them. One is for, uh, you know, multiple lines, and the other one's for one line. And that's pretty much it. There's other stuff that you can do to uh, configure this too. If you go into the script folder that we had, what do we got here? A snippy one line or something like that. You can do some configurations, right? So in here, um, you know, you can add in extra um, options for a D menu if you want to do that. Oh yeah, and one thing is that the original script didn't do um, command line pasting because they only had um, you know the GUI paste. You can actually do command line pasting too. So for example, what do we got here? Okay, let's say for example, if I do uh, vim and I want to paste something something from the command line or something like that, uh, you can do uh, your D menu and it would say uh, you know our GitHub page here or what's the other one? Who do do like our list command? Right, it'll paste it from the the command line. Uh, applications also and uh, GUIs if you want to do that so anyways that's the script pretty cool if you want to use it it just requires D menu uh, was that this other one called Excel for uh, for pacing and I think that's about it well you can actually read up on it if you want you know they tell you here right the requirements uh, so D menu Excel and XDO tools, I think that's how you say it. So I'll post it in my uh, GitHub page because the original guy, he's not really updating it or whatever. So that's it for this one.